Recently, there have been a number of people having trouble installing Cakewalk by BandLab. In most cases, this should be a relatively simple fix. Today, I'm going to work out some of the reoccurring issues that have been coming up and hopefully get some of you on your way to using one of the best free DAWs on the market. If this is your first time to the Home Studio Simplified channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you and encouragingly invite you to go ahead and subscribe and click the bell icon so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Now, although I may not be able to help all of you due to a limited knowledge of your personal computer specs and other variables, these system checks should be applicable to most users. There are a couple of things to be aware of concerning Cakewalk by BandLab. Cakewalk is only 64-bit. There is no longer a 32-bit version. Likewise, there is not a Mac version of this software as of yet. Therefore, it will only install on a Windows operating system that is running in 64-bit. Cakewalk by BandLab is 100% free for 64-bit Windows operation systems 7, 8, and 10, but it is delivered exclusively via the BandLab Assistant. So, for the initial activation, the DAW machine must be online. Even though it's free, you need a BandLab account to activate the software. Otherwise, it stays in demo mode. After the initial installation, you need only go online to update if you desire to do so. First, let's make sure that you're downloading and installing Cakewalk properly. Open up your internet browser and follow the link in the description of this video. That should take you to a page that looks similar to this. Now here are a short list of steps for installing Cakewalk by BandLab. Step number one, install the BandLab Assistant. By clicking on the download tab up here, it should take you to this download tab here, which will then ask you to install the BandLab Assistant. Because this is an EXE or an executable file, your Windows Defender or antivirus software might try to stop the installation at this point. Go ahead and allow it through your firewall, your Defender, or your antivirus software and save the file. Once the file has been saved on your computer, you will then be taken to this screen which will give you four more steps to installing the Cakewalk by BandLab Assistant. Once the BandLab Assistant is installed, you'll need to log in using Facebook, Google, or by creating a username and password combination. Then click the Apps tab and located just underneath the Cakewalk logo, you'll find a button that reads Install. Click Install and follow the prompts that come up on your screen. The first window is for your add-on items. You can simply OK without checking any boxes if you do not wish to install any add-ons. When the installation is complete, you'll have a desktop icon for Cakewalk by BandLab and the install button with BandLab Assistant will now read Open. You can either use the desktop icon or the Open button to launch. When an update is available, the Open button will change to Update. So what exactly is the BandLab Assistant and do you have to use it? The BandLab Assistant is an application where you can access both BandLab and Cakewalk content, browse to the libraries, the apps, and the sound tabs to find your BandLab projects, access Cakewalk by BandLab, or to drag and drop any of the 2000 plus free loops into your project or directly to your computer. After the BandLab Assistant has been downloaded properly on your PC, you want to click this drop down box to find more information to refresh your activation. You can use this for a fresh uninstall, and you can even install your add ons. By ticking these boxes, you can select the add-ons that you'd like to install. By leaving them unticked, they will remain there for a later date if you should so desire to download them then. So how do you know if BandLab Assistant and Cakewalk by BandLab are up to date? The BandLab Assistant sees less frequent changes than Cakewalk by BandLab, but there are still updates to the app in addition to Cakewalk by BandLab. If the app is already open, click the gear tab up in the top left of the BandLab Assistant to open up the settings menu. The version number is located at the bottom of the screen. If you're unsure which version you should be running, choose the sign out option here. Upon signing back in, a notification will appear if an update to BandLab Assistant is available. In some cases, it may be helpful to use the Add or Remove Programs tool from Windows to remove your existing version of Cakewalk by BandLab. Afterwards, you can install the latest version from the original link included in this video www.bandlab.com forward slash products forward slash cakewalk. Now, within Cakewalk by BandLab, you can find the version of Cakewalk that you're currently using, 
by opening the program and then going to Help About Cakewalk. You'll normally see a version and build number, such as 2019.12 build 2664-bit. From this Help tab, you can also check for updates. As you can see, I'm up to date and I'm running the latest available version. At this point, if you see an update error or experience any difficulty while attempting to update BandLab Assistant, you may want to remove your existing version and reinstall the latest version. It must be noted that an update will appear when an update from BandLab Assistant is available, and I definitely recommend you staying up to date to ensure the best experience. Here's a quick checklist of things that you need to do if you're experiencing troubles. Step number one, ensure that the BandLab Assistant is in fact up to date. Step number two, make sure that your firewall settings are allowing the BandLab Assistant access. Step number three, when installing, make sure to turn off any antivirus protection software. Once the installation is completed, you can simply turn it back on. Step number four is to run the downloaded executable files. You only need to run the instruments.exe if you don't already have Sonar installed. Otherwise, just run cakewalk.exe to install the core application. After having went through this short checklist to see if everything is in place, if you're still having any troubles, take a screenshot of any errors that you might have and reach out to the support at cakewalk.com. They should be able to further assist you in getting up and running. I hope this brief tutorial on how to get Cakewalk by BandLab up and running if you're having installing issues or updating issues helped. If it did, leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Give it a thumbs up as well and make sure that before you leave this channel you go ahead and subscribe and click that bell icon so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Have a great day.